500. It's been up 10% since the beginning of the year. The Dow, the NAS, they continue to hit new highs. You can't fight the tape on this one. Bad news is good news, and good news is even better news. It doesn't matter what's happening overseas. So how do you play this market? You can't get short. You're going to get crushed if you do. What I'm taking a look at is what's called the ICJ. It's an index that looks at the implied volatility of S&P 500 correlation. The ranges you want to look at there are between 50 and 70 to determine if it's more of a stock picker's market. So in December 2011, when stocks were trading in tandem, this index was over 90. If you look at levels now, it's becoming a little bit more normalized at 70 spot 12, which indicates and confirms that we're back into a stock picker environment, which let you know, look, the tech sector, that's been an absolute monster. Those large cap names with that cash starting to pay some healthy dividends. CA taking it up fivefold, STX with the buyback and increasing their dividend. That's why these names have continued to do well. The ag space, which happens to be my favorite, I think it's a little bit tricky here February and March, but the back half of the year, the metrics are really lining up well for the underlying. These stocks are really, really cheap. And if this index, the ICJ, continues to stay within that 50 to 70 range, I know it's time to pick some stocks.